Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this. So, I got a text there, and they were saying that you should do a video on, you know, when families buy homes. Yeah, and you know, like, in the West, yeah, as in, like, in the country of Ireland, down the country, yeah. How come, like, they can hold on to houses way more than the dubs do? How come the dubs don't do that in in Dublin? You know what like, I'm trying to say is that, like, talk about houses, basically, and how they can actually inherit the house and make it freaking ancient house but like people are like families of different generations are moving in there as in in that household name like just say for instance the simpsons yeah the simpsons like bart homer lisa yeah how come the simpsons will be like the first generation of simpsons then the other simpsons then of their kids and then the, the super grandkids then of the same house there updated again updated again updated again but it's plugged in as the family name the simpsons house still so let's get into it so here it goes so oh would you look at that we bought a house we bought a freaking house oh my god and then you pay it all off there. Oh, would you look at that? We're getting really old there. We're going into a really old age there. And I'm actually quite a bit stiff and all there. And you know what I'm going to do right now, actually? What? My son and my good old daughter want to get a, the house that they want. One of my sons, one son, I only have two sons, and then I have a daughter. So, I'm actually going to do this, is write down a will. A will? What's a will? It's basically, as people call it in America, trust fund. Okay. And what they do is, okay, for all the arguments in this world, yeah, as like who gets what and what gets who, yeah, what they do is, they just do this. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Who gets the family house? Right. You get the family house there. My second son. And the daughter gets. A bit of land. She gets um, my big ass company there. In headquarters in town. She does, yep. Write that down. There, okay, done. Right. People have a bit of everything now. When we pass away. <sighs> so, what do they do next? They do this. Okay. Is that, oh my god, I got the house, I got the family house, yes! You know that means, daughter and son? What? It means that... We're going to give it to you guys. Really? Yeah. There in the super future. There. We're going to keep it in the family name. There. So those particular families out there actually keep their legacy. As in, right, I was born in this house there. This house means... Everything to me. I'm going to keep it in the fucking family there. Not because, don't get me wrong, there's other families there, right? Couldn't give a smittens about who grew up in this house. Really? They couldn't give a bollocks or a fuck. Basically. Because I know these type of people out there, right? Will actually do this. Actually, yeah, for my um, not working anymore for, for, um, for a living, I'm actually going to sell this house there. Right, and then a brand new family can move in there. But do they care about um, their son and daughters or two daughters or three daughters or nine daughters there that was born in this house there? Do they care? They freaking do care. Did they ask them, to, hey, can we sell this house? Nope. Why? Parents paid for it. Why should we be uh, asking there for their permission? There, but they're going to say... <sighs> 
all the memories in that house. <sighs> all the waking up to Santa Claus there for the first time. Waking up there at 10 years old there, bringing home my first boyfriend there. All these memories there. Bunny Easter guy coming in there. All the birthdays, parties that I had. All the boyfriends there that I fucked in that house there. Sleepovers there. Like that, all the madness, all the family drama was in that house there. You're just walking by the neighbourhood or something like that there. Looking at the brand new family coming into their home there. Taking down the sign there of being the house being sold to a, the next step people moving in to the house there right yeah and what do they those um kitties say <sighs> i'm gonna miss that house <sighs> oh well time to move on you know what i mean and then they move on then to their own house that the, the, their kids grew up in there like that you know Really? Oh yeah. And there's some other parents that actually don't even do a will. They just leave it the way it is. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yep. Yeah. Hey mom, hi dad. Hey mom, hey dad. They're gone. Both of them are gone. Yeah. Okay. I have a brother. I have a sister. And I have another brother. And um, we're fighting over the house. There. Like that. Why though, Kino? Why? People, people want to know that one there. And there's a bit of land as well. I heard in Dublin there that the kids want. Well, this is why money, money. So the house, the auctioneer said the house is worth six hundred thousand. So that means then for three of us, then that's two, four, six. So we get both of us then get two hundred thousand each. Nice, nice, very good, very good, lovely. What's the house worth? You know what I mean? Like that. And they'd be so much we go to literally court order and who gets the property there, who gets this, who gets the land and everything there. It's just going b bonkers. And what do they have to do then to settle it all? Just sell the fucking thing. I don't, I, I, I don't care. I, I have my own place there. And then they sell it then like that. Go by their separate ways then. Sold. There. Get out of here. Fucking hell. And then, would you look at that? Brand new family moves in there. I wanted that house there to be in the family name, but that's gone down the freaking toilet, to be fair with you. Fuck's sake. Really? Yep, it's true. And that's why some people, some families, should I say, actually keep it in the family name. As in, they do out a will there, yeah. And then they give it to the most responsible there, has their head screwed on, it doesn't matter if it's daughter or son, whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Man or a woman, yeah, of their siblings. And then they do this. Right, this house goes to blah, blah. This land goes to blah, blah. Money goes to blah, blah. Money, this there, blah, blah. 6,000 goes to blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, once that's written down, big uh, letter to, there, both of them, both parents signed it there, as in your mama and papa, signed there, and then, I give you this property to the name, I give this property of land to the name, I give this car to Baba there, for, to you to sell to get your own car, Baba Baba, and then so on, so on, so on, and they'd be like, ah. <sighs> That's more like it. And that's why they do. Why do they actually do out? Um, families do out a will though, Keen? Because it saves them kids arguing when we're in our coffins. Or being burnt dead. That's why. Ah, that makes sense. Yep, it does. And then it's up to them then. Whatever they want to do with the house. Because we'll be gone. That's true, actually. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. But do they actually keep the house in, in their family name? Yeah, some people, that, some families actually do that. As in their siblings. They um get the house there like that. There. It's like, I used to be living in the country there for a good while. And now um, the house was inherited by me. And then I'm going to live here now over and over and over and over again. And then I'm going to give this 
property then to the next property and um, place then and then keep it going and going and going. It's like, this is the Simpsons house. This is the Simpsons house there. The Simpson name house. It's been there for so many generations and the house is still standing. Like that. Can that actually happen? Oh, God, yeah. To be fair with you. Well, that's mad. It is freaking mad, it is. There. So, I'll give you three generations. I mean, three families there that um, do out that will there. Really? Yeah, that don't do the will. Maybe do the will there. Or fight, o fight over it there. And just sell the fucking thing there. And then go your boat, your... Your separate ways and then sell the house then and then get the money out of that then divide it up equally then obviously to yourselves and then bah bob's your uncle like that well that's amazing it is yep it is so how come there's some families that don't want it want the family name in their the house that they bought first time well this is the reason why because like why don't you just give someone else a chance there to get the house in this certain area there like that. So that's why they say some families do this as well. Step four. Okay. Gave you three. Now this is step four. Is that why do they actually do it this way? Right. To keep the kiddies out of the family home is this. They don't do up any well they don't do anything there right no mention of the house whatsoever so what do they do then the house is automatically theirs anyway but they'll say wait a second there's money here i already have my own place there i already have the kids there i have a fantastic wife here there like that i don't need to be having this freaking house there it's like they want it there like that and then the other kids want it there and i want it there so what do they do then they split the house then and then what's happened what happens then the mama and papa that actually bought the house yeah will just say to themselves ah if i actually just don't write anything the house goes to anyone that means then they'll fight over it there like that go about their separate ways because it's money involved and then house then goes up to someone else then to start their own young family life again in that house then and some families some mama parents actually do that they do yep they do why why should you be getting the property there hmm? why should you there you know, why should you? Yeah, I know I I parent you all the way through and all, yeah. But um someone else um needs the house there. It's not fair though leaving the the house to my um young siblings there like that when they already have their own properties. It does make sense, you know. And then that's what parents do. Really? Oh god yeah. There. And that's only one family um do that. As in families out there in this world that do that, to, to be honest with you. Really? Yep, they do. Like that. And then they know full well it's going to be put up for sale, then the property. And then they're laughing their heads off then, six feet under. <laughs> no one's getting the house, you gobshites. <sighs> you already have your own houses there, or your own apartments there, you're fine. It's like, well, we are in the real world now. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. You are now, big guy. And then, that's the end of it then. Then the next family generation move on into that brand new house. Updated again there. Sexy looking there. In this area then. I'd be like, whoa, that's mad. And then they look by then at the future. Whoa, remember you used to live in that house? Yeah, someone else has it now. <sighs> Good memories. Does that actually give you a kick in the teeth as well and a bit of a wake up call? Yeah, it does actually, to be fair with you. A lot of people would actually say that to you, really. Really? Oh, oh yeah. All the time. They'll say it to everyone. Say, ah, good memories in the school. Oh, yeah, looking back at it there. Looking back at, at what happened 
in life now from there to there. Wow. Goodbye.